The road Kelly Tuff has taken to becoming an artist sounds like something out of a screenwriter's imagination. From a broken childhood to the centerfold of Playboy magazine, to a battle with drug addiction and drug dealers, and finally to the serenity of her pad and pencil. Nothing's ever what you think it's going to be. Nothing. Not one single thing in my whole life has ever been what I thought it was going to be. As a young woman in Coquitlam, Tuff went from running away to couch surfing and sleeping outside at times. And then while working at a pub, she was approached by a Playboy scout named Ken Honey, which led to working for Playboy boss Hugh Hefner in Los Angeles, which obviously changed everything in more ways than one. So if it wasn't for him, I think that because I, I left home so early and, and the Playboy thing hadn't happened, I think I would have gone down a really dark road and probably wouldn't have made it into my 20s. After a few years working and living at the Playboy Mansion in Los Angeles, Kelly returned home and things changed again. Drugs and drug dealers dominated her life and nearly took it. There was a time she had a gun pointed at her head, execution style, but the trigger wasn't pulled. The feeling I had was like, I, I'm good. My sons know that, that I love them. And if this is, at least it's going to be fast. Right, and he changed his mind. And eventually, so did Kelly. She beat her drug habit, and through the prodding of a now-departed friend, discovered a talent she didn't know she had, drawing. It's like an obsession. It's, it's, it just takes me away, right? And, and it's to a place that I really like to be. Her commissions have increased by the month. Portraits of the famous, some she met during her Playboy days and portraits of herself. She's also co-authored a book that's yet to be published about her life. When I look back on my life, I smile, and I, I, just, I, I, think that I just think I'm a really lucky girl. A really lucky girl. I've, I've been seeing a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, and, and I got through it, and I found myself, and I'm just really happy that the way that's the way my life's turned out.